This video covers intraosseous access and demonstrates the use of the EZIO device. Battles practitioners use three sites for IO access and in order they are the anterior medial aspect of the tibia using the EZIO, the sternum using the FAST and the head of the humerus using the EZIO. The equipment required is as follows, an EZIO drill, an appropriately sized needle, extension tubing, a 10 mil syringe, a three way tap and a 50 mil syringe. To locate the site on the tibia, measure two finger widths down from the patella and two fingers medially. For paediatrics, measure only one finger down and one finger medially. To locate the site on the humerus, identify the acromion at the lateral aspect of the clavicle and measure approximately two fingers down. The needles used are pink for paediatrics, blue for tibial access, yellow for humeral access. Red is only used for training. The three-way tap is constructed with three ports and a tap which has three open settings and one closed. This allows the caregiver to control the flow and the direction of fluids through the device. When the tap is set at 45 degrees to the ports, the device is closed in all directions. To connect the extension to the tap, clip to close the tubing and press the blue cap into the port with a lure lock cover. Twist the cover to secure the extension. Attach the fluids via a giving set to one of the remaining ports, usually but not necessarily the port opposite the extension set. To prep the system, open the clip on the extension and set the three-way tap so that only the ports to the bag and to the extension are open. Unlock the giving set and allow the fluids, seen here in green, to flow through the assembly. Lock off the clip on the extension and close the giving set. To prepare a flush, attach a 10 mil syringe to the remaining port and using the three-way tap open the system to the syringe and to the bag. Unlock the giving set and draw up 10 mil into the syringe. Lock off the giving set and close the ports on the three-way tap. Always remember to brief your casualty before attempting IO access. At the selected site, check for evidence of injuries that might contraindicate use of an IO device. Measure to determine the drill location and clean the area with an alcohol swab. Control the patient's movement during insertion. Using an appropriately sized needle attached to the drill, push through the skin at the site until the needle contacts bone. 
ensure that one black line is visible on the needle above the surface of the skin and that the needle is at 90 degrees to the surface of the bone. Apply steady downwards pressure while squeezing the trigger on the drill. A sudden give or pop is felt upon entry into the medullary space. Always dispose of sharps correctly. Attach the three-way tap assembly to the catheter. Open the extension clip and set the three-way tap so that it is open to the patient and the syringe but closed to the bag. Aspirate to confirm location. Flush with 10 ml of fluid to cavitate the bone. Close the extension clip and replace the empty 10 ml syringe with a fresh 50 ml syringe. Open the system to the bag and to the syringe and draw up 50 ml. Open the system to the patient and to the syringe. Unlock the extension tube and push through 50 ml of fluid. Repeat a further four times to achieve a 250 ml bolus.